My name is Arnika Kuusisto. I am professor in early childhood education at the University of Helsinki in Finland. By values, we mean the matters that are important and valuable to us. Uh, so values are learned by making careful observations about the micro messages people around us give in social interaction. So, for example, the facial expressions and body language, but also the ways in which people around us act and react. And also like values are this kind of Lego bricks that construct the individual worldview. So worldview is a kind of life philosophy or the glasses through which we see Uh, the world around us and make our interpretations about what happens um, in the world. So values can sometimes be so important to people that they are also willing to put a lot of effort into defending this. So for example, climate anxiety can make children to want to actively strive for sustainability and thereby creating hope and agency and positive acts of change. And here the children observe the ways in which other people, such as parents and teachers and also older siblings and peers, treat other people. So when the adults around us uh, treat other people respectfully and speak positively about them, also behind their back, uh, children learn to respect and trust others. And this is important also for, for their own well-being in preschool, for example. Uh, because when the child sees that the parents trust and respect the preschool staff, they can also feel more trustful with this uh, from the onset, this kind of new people. So when teachers and parents are equally respectful towards all genders, for example, uh, and speak positively about everyone's equal opportunities in life, whatever their gender, ethnicity, religion or worldview, for example, uh, then the children learn the values of equality and inclusivity. And it is very important that these teachers constantly strive towards making early childhood education into an identity safe space. It is very important that every child can feel respected, recognized, seen and heard in early childhood education every day. And when they get the experience of empathy and compassion and respect towards them, they can also learn to give similar appreciation to others. Uh, these values can also be taught through, for example, reading books and telling stories, doing drama, music, art with children, uh, because the stories and narratives help children to learn from and understand different roles and positions, for example, fairy tales, and thereby also learn empathy. So being seen and heard every day is of great importance in supporting every child's resilience uh, to adversities in life. Uh, that is important not only for supporting the children's learning and well-being, but also for the situations where something does happen. For example, a loss or a divorce in the family. So if a trustful, respectful relationship has been established and maintained, the child can also feel that they can turn to the teacher with their sorrows and anxieties and get support when needed. And another important support factor for resilience is the peer level relationships, so friendships between children. And teachers need to be very sensitively attuned to exclusion and loneliness in the group and do their best to support every child so that they can become an appreciated peer and have friends to play with. Solving conflicts between children is also a lot easier when the operational culture of early childhood education has been continuously constructed as a safe space, um, also for respecting everyone's opinions. Uh, but the teacher can explain, for example, when discussing a story or some other topic, uh, that people don't have to agree on everything, but that everyone has a right to their own opinions. However, learning to respect the diversity of views is important here also. And When discussing the difference of opinions and values with children, uh, it is also important to make the point that although people can think differently, there are some limits uh, to what is right and wrong, for example, by law or human rights and the convention of the rights of the child. So they also give the frame of reference to what is acceptable and what is not. And uh, this is again one reason for supporting every child. Uh, and their connectedness to the group and feeling 
uh, of being included and respected just the way they are in every every day of the early childhood education.